So if you've managed to avoid setting up Windows 11 without a Microsoft account, you may see this message coming up from time to time saying, let's finish setting up your device. Your device needs to connect to a few more Microsoft services to help you work more easily and securely across all your devices. Select continue to get started in just a few clicks. And it wants to uh, give us the choice of setting up Windows Hello, um, it wants to try and push us into a Microsoft 365 subscription, link the PC and the phone together and push us into OneDrive as well and possibly a subscription if you haven't got enough room for the free five gigabytes of space that they give you, which most people probably won't. And also if you want to make Edge your default browser is what they're saying there by enhance your web browsing experience, restore Microsoft recommended browser settings. So I don't want to do this. I don't want to be tied to a Microsoft account. I don't want OneDrive. I don't want a Microsoft 365 subscription. I don't want to have to put a password in every time I log into Windows. I don't want to make Edge my default web browser. I love Firefox or Google Chrome or Opera or Brave browser. Nothing wrong with Edge, but I just prefer those. So I, I don't want Microsoft taking over my life. They've got my operating system, but I don't want them taking over everything else. So what do we do? Quite simply, move my mouse over, remind me later, left click once, and there you go, that gets rid of this message. Now, once you've logged in, you might want to go a step further and try and turn these notifications off in future. Now, I haven't tried and tested these yet, but hopefully this might do the job. So click on the start button, click on settings just over there. And then once you're in settings, make sure that you click system and then go to notifications just on the right there. Click on notifications. And what we want to do is we want to turn off these two boxes here. So we want to take the tick out of offer suggestions on how I can set up my device and take the tick out of get tips and suggestions when I use Windows. Now there's also other things we can do here. We've got a suggested section there. So if we don't want suggestions from Microsoft, we can turn that off. And if we're not planning to use OneDrive, then again, we can turn that off as well. Have a look through this list. If there's anything in there that you don't use and you don't want notifications from that app, then just turn it off. Or if you do want notifications for it, turn it back on again. And another thing you can try is just on the left there, you've got privacy and security. So you can go over to that and go into general there and uh, you can turn off this show me suggested content in the settings app. You can also, if you don't like them tracking you, let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches. And you could also turn off let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID there. You could also scroll down to diagnostics and feedback there and turn some of these settings off if you want. But please don't forget this does help the whole experience of Windows 11 and it does send diagnostic data to Microsoft to help identify problems. So overall, it may be a good idea to leave these sort of things on. Apart from here, there you go, tailored experiences, I would perhaps recommend turning that off. And also, if you'd rather Microsoft didn't ask for feedback, you can also turn that off just by selecting never just down there. So there you go, that guide shows you how to turn off that annoying message when you log into Windows, if you haven't already signed up for a Microsoft account, and shows you how to turn off a few notifications. Hope this guide helps, and thank you very much for watching.